it's Megan again here on the Lawson Farm. Uh, so today I am cooking up stuff for our New Year's Day meal. It's actually New Year's Eve, but I've got to work tomorrow, so I'm going to go ahead and cook everything today. That way we can just warm it up tomorrow for supper. Um, and actually, y'all will probably see this after New Year's, so hope everyone had a happy New Year by the time you see this video. Um, so something I'm going to do today, I'm just going to show y'all how I make my cornbread. So, uh, most people know how to make cornbread, but there's a lot of people that don't. A um, couple things, I don't put eggs and I don't put sugar in my cornbread. Um, I just like good old-fashioned, plain old cornbread. So, uh, I'm going to show you how I do that today. I make just a small batch because my husband doesn't really eat cornbread. I know, I know. <laughs> no, um, but uh, I'm just going to make a small pound of it. So, we'll go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do... You want to take your grease, whether that be vegetable oil, um, Crisco, whatever, whatever kind of grease you want to use. I use uh, my lard. So if you want to know how to render lard, check out that video. Let me grab a spoon. So I'm just going to do a couple spoonfuls of this just right in the pan, okay? Let's get this where y'all can see it. I'm just dabbing that right in the pan. And I kind of eyeball everything, so it's not really a recipe, but I'll show you, you know, kind of what to look for. Next, got my grease in the pan. It's going in a 425 degree oven until this melts. We want our pan to be good and hot when we pour that cornbread in there. Okay. I've also got my greens boiling over here. Um, got my black eyed peas soaking, so that way, like I said, everything will be ready for tomorrow. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get this cornmeal mixed up. This is cornmeal that I buy from our local general store, Pretty's General Store. If you are local uh, to the Danbury area, uh, if you're looking for a road trip, uh, Pretty's General Store is an excellent place to visit. They've been open since the 1800s um, and still keeping the old fashioned ways. I love to go there and buy local stuff. So, I'm gonna pour some cornmeal in here. Yeah, probably use the whole rest of what's left in here. Yep. All right. Just plain old cornmeal. Then we're gonna take buttermilk, which this is actually whole milk that I mixed vinegar, vinegar with because I didn't have no buttermilk. So you can use this, you can use the powdered buttermilk, regular buttermilk, whatever what you want to use. Alright. So I am going to pour that in. I wish I could see this better. Like I said, I'm not measuring. I'm just looking. Okay, I'm just, I know what I'm looking for. I want this, all this cornmeal to be wet. And pretty much be able to pour it in my pan. And anybody watching that has never had cornbread for whatever reason, you should try it. It is delicious. I, for one, my favorite meal, or favorite, I mean, it's actually probably better than dessert, is cornbread and milk. You get you a good hot piece of cornbread and put it in a cold glass of milk, mm -mm, can't beat it, can't beat it. It is delicious. All right, we're almost there. Look at there. I had just the perfect amount of milk, y'all. I swear I didn't measure that. Alright, so I'm going to show y'all what this looks like. Alright, see? It's kind of runny, kind of thick. So that's what we're looking for right there, okay? See there? But I'll still be able to pour it in my pan. I'm going to get my hot pan out of the oven. You want about, I don't know, quarter inch of grease. I don't want to turn this up too much. There we go. Alright, and so now what we're going to do, the key to good crunchy cornbread is a hot pan. And we're going to pour all this in there, in that grease. I'm not 
sure. I don't think all cultures, not cultures, yeah, cultures in the United States, I don't think they all eat cornbread. I'm not sure if it's just a southern thing. Like I said, if you haven't tried it, you should. All right, so now I have this poured in there with this hot oil. We're going to mix it together, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to get that hot oil in with that cornmeal. Mm. If you've never had lard, mm, you need to find some and try some because, honey, you're talking about making stuff good. Yes, yes, yes. All right, we're going to let this cook. It usually takes about 20 minutes. We're going to let it cook about 20 minutes. And like I said, not really a recipe, just it's all kind of eyeballing it. But you know that turns out the best stuff usually. I'm just smoothing out my cornbread now. So I'll have a good smooth bottom here because what we'll do is flip this out of this pan. Okay. All right. So we're gonna put that in a 425 degree oven until it's good and crispy and brown on top, and then we'll get it out. All right, so my cornbread's done cooking. It took it right at about 20 minutes on 425. Yeah. Beautiful brown cornbread. We'll yeah. cut into it and see what it looks like. Yeah. Let's see. Come on. My little girl right here loves cornbread. You can see her head in the video. <laughs> She's yeah. waiting on her piece. Whoa. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful steaming hot cornbread. It'd be delicious to put in a cup of cold milk. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this kind of stuff, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, give this video a like if you do like it. And I'll talk to y'all next time.